Are you thinking of living in Beverly, Massachusetts? In this video, we're going to discuss life in Beverly. We'll talk about neighborhoods, we'll talk about school systems, we'll talk about beaches, we'll talk about commuting. We'll talk about things to do in Beverly, and we'll use maps to help you know where everything is. Let's go to Beverly. Hi, I'm Jeff. I started Boston North because I've lived my entire life in Massachusetts. In the last 20 plus years, I've lived in the North Shore. Working in the real estate industry, I've had to research the ins and outs of cities, towns, and neighborhoods in my area. My goal is to make you, my viewer, feel welcome to reach out to me with any questions you might have about living north of Boston. I'll talk to you soon. Beverly, Massachusetts is located about 25 miles north of the city of Boston. So if you're going to drive in and out of Boston, um, you're looking at off traffic about a 30 minute, 35 minute each way drive. Um, if there is traffic, you can definitely be in your car a little bit over an hour. Um, there's other options to get in and out of the city that we'll talk about later. Um, but yep, about 25 miles north of Boston. So the city of Beverly itself is situated north of the city of Salem, next to Danvers, Peabody, south of Wenham, and just west of Manchester by the sea. Uh, as you can clearly see, Beverly is a coastal city, which is one of its um, main attractive attributes is the fact that it's right on the coast. Uh, there's incredible views from all over the city, but 128, um, the main highway in the area, goes straight through the center of Beverly, so you do have pretty good access um, in and out of the city. Beverly itself, uh, the land is 15 square miles. Population is right about 42,000 people. Uh, you're going to find a really good mix of urban and suburban neighborhoods, depending on what you're looking for um, in your next home. So let's break Beverly up into some of the neighborhoods so you can get a, a view for where things are. So downtown Beverly itself is sort of this little island section coming over from Route 1A from Salem. This is going to encapsulate Cabot Street and Rantoul Street, which are the two sort of main busy streets in Beverly. That's where the most stores are going to be. That's where the sort of shopping and restaurants and, and walkability in Beverly is going to be found. Right next to downtown, you're going to have Beverly Cove right about here. And that's going to be named for the actual Cove, Beverly Cove. Uh, probably more like that. Um, next to that, you have Pride's Crossing which is this neighborhood here. There's a lot of, uh, you know, the larger private properties in Beverly are gonna be found out along here and into the last section, which is Beverly Farms. Uh, Beverly Farms abuts Manchester by the sea. And you're gonna have, again, you're gonna have some of the, the more expensive properties. You're gonna have some of the bigger pieces of land found in uh, Pride's Crossing and Beverly Farms. Above that, you've got Centerville, which sort of crosses the highway here. And Centerville is a very nice suburban neighborhood. Uh, you have a lot of residential. There's very little commercial um, property or commercial anything going on in Centerville. Uh, great schools, great, you know, kind of ride your bike and walkability for kids. Uh, a lot of younger families are found there. The Montserrat neighborhood is right sort of just north of downtown. Um, Montserrat School of Art is right there small neighborhood next to that called Gloucester Crossing. Uh, that's fairly dense uh, single-family and multi-family houses. There's a lot of rentals in that area. Uh, Ryle side kind of goes below the golf course and then right along the Danvers River here. Ryle side neighborhood can be found right there. And then the rest of this section is North Beverly. So North Beverly is obviously the northern section of town next to Centerville, and that's going to abut Wenham, uh, Wenham Lake right there. And that's another relatively suburban section of Beverly. So downtown is going to have sort of your busiest area, and then you can see 128 crosses right through the middle. I think there's five exits for 128 in Beverly, which is, you know, again, it represents really good access. So even in some of the more suburban neighborhoods like Centerville, or if you're in the farms, you know, you have one drive out Hart Street and you're on 128 and headed towards Boston. So everywhere in Beverly has got good highway access and that's a, that's a total benefit to the city of Beverly. Speaking of that, your, your main route, uh, as I touched on, 128 travels right through the middle of Beverly. So just zoom out a little bit here. And that's going to be your main access to you know, 128 ends up in Gloucester. So this whole area would be considered Cape Ann. And then 128 heads south 
and that gives you access to I-95 and Route 1, which are going to be your, your more main highways. 128 is two lanes in this whole section, and it goes to three lanes once it connects with 95. So if you're going to head to Boston, depending on Google Maps mood, so right now there's no traffic. It's currently 11 in the morning on a Monday, so the fastest route into Boston would be 128 down to Route 93 and then straight into the city. Um, if 93 has traffic, Route 1 is generally a pretty good option. And they're showing you a few different ways. There's a tunnel. If you're going to Logan Airport, you would take Route 1 over to 1A and get into Logan Airport, which is right here. Oops, sorry about the pop-up. Logan Airport, which is right here. If both of those are clogged up, you'll even see maps or ways or whatever you're using. Suggest that you come out of the city and follow 107 or 1A right up through Salem. 1A breaks off and goes through Marblehead and then into Salem, and that might be another way to get up to Beverly. But if you can travel off traffic or if you're just doing the commute, you're looking at about 35, 40 minutes, no matter which way you go. And that's going to be your best case scenario. So you'll have days where this could easily take an hour. If you have an option to just commute off traffic, that's, that's pretty great. So I'll just show the traffic map right now. Again, 11 in the morning. So nothing on 128. You could travel all the way down to Interstate 90, which is going to be out towards Worcester. If you wanted to go to Rhode Island or Connecticut, you'd take 95 all the way down into Rhode Island or out to um, 89 into... Uh, into the Connecticut, New York area. If you're going to upstate New York, you'd go out I-90. If you wanted to get up to the New Hampshire lakes, you'd drive down to 93 and head right up. Um, and if you wanted to go to the New Hampshire coast or the Maine coast, you'd go right to 95 and work your way up. So Beverly is a little bit out of the way. It's uh, off of I-95, but it's not far from it. And you're able to pretty efficiently get yourself around most of central New England uh, from the city of Beverly. The downtown section, let's zoom in on that. So right here is Rantoul Street, and this one is Cabot Street. And so right along, you know, this central section of Cabot Street, you've got a lot of restaurants, you've got a lot of walk-in stores, shops, and then this section of Rantoul Street is constantly under development right now. They're adding a lot of units, they're adding a lot of rentals, same with the crossing in from Salem. So there's a lot of activity right now in Beverly that's adding um, foot traffic, it's adding space for people to live, and it's adding more and more access to the train station, which is right here. Beverly has a few train stops, that's Beverly. Um, one of the nice features of this train stop is it's where two train lines converge. So you have more access to trains in Beverly than you do a stop in either direction. So if I zoom out a little bit, and I add in transit. So here you have the Newburyport line comes down from Newburyport straight through and goes into Boston and then this is the Rockport line obviously starting in Rockport making its way down. So you have the Beverly stop, you have the Montserrat stop, you have the North Beverly stop, Pride's Crossing and Beverly Farms. So any of these other stops have roughly half the uh, train traffic as, as downtown Beverly. So that's great convenience and it's about a 35-40 minute ride to Boston from the Beverly train stop. Another feature of the city of Beverly that's going to be important to some people is Beverly has its own hospital right in the center of the city. Uh, Beverly Hospital is a full service hospital, emergency room, doctors, uh, surgical center, everything, that, everything you'd need. Um, it's a great hospital located right in town. Uh, shopping wise, grocery stores, there's a couple in Beverly, so you'd be able to do all your shopping in the city. If you needed to get to some of more of the box stores or a mall, just a few miles away in Peabody is the North Shore Mall and the Liberty Tree Mall. So you're going to be able to get access to really anything you need within 10 minutes of Beverly, which is again, pretty convenient, not, not much of a lift to, to get over there. And then the rest of your needs as far as, like I said, groceries or small things or convenience stores, um, those are all available right, right in Beverly. No matter where you live in town, you'll be able to get somewhere pretty quick. Beaches is a great consideration or like uh, one of the main attractions um, if you're living in Beverly. So you do have access to a ton of beaches. So Dane Street Beach is right here. Next to that is there's Rice's Beach and Brackenberry Beach, which are two smaller, really pretty beaches. And then a fair amount of private property along the coast here in Pride's Crossing and then once you get into Beverly Farms 
West Beach runs all the way up against uh, the city of Manchester. So West Beach is a semi-private beach. You have to have a beach pass to get on it. Um, and that's a lottery for Beverly residents. So no matter where you are in town, you'll be able to access a beach pretty quickly. And if we zoom out a bit, you also have the whole rest of the coast. Up into Gloucester, there's really great beaches. There's Singing Beach in Manchester. You have Cranes Beach and other things up in the Ipswich area and Essex and then all the way up to Plum Island. So um, beaches are no problem living in the North Shore, especially in Beverly. Big question everybody gets when they're moving to a new town is how are the school systems? Niche.com ranks the Beverly school systems 92nd out of 220 school systems uh, in Massachusetts that they compared against. Hey YouTube, I'm interrupting my video from my office here in Beverly, Massachusetts. One thing that I forgot to mention about the Beverly school systems is it services 4,500 students. There is one preschool, there's five elementary schools, a high school and a middle school. There's also a fair amount of private education, K through 12 in Beverly, as well as the town surrounding it. All right, back to the video. Secondary educations, uh, we have Endicott College is right over here, um, right at the edge of Pride's Crossing, um, just out of downtown Beverly, a really short ride into downtown. And you also have the Montserrat College of Art, which is tucked right into downtown here. So you've got a uh, world-renowned art school, and then you have Endicott College as well right in downtown. The layout um, of the city politically, Beverly has a mayor, which is voted every four years, as well as a city council. And good information about buying property is the current tax rate in 2023 is $11.26 per thousand dollars of property value, which is pretty low for the area. Beverly tax-wise is, uh, very affordable. Um, you know, there's a great mix of cost of properties. So you've got, again, some multi-million dollar estates right along the Beverly Coast there. And then you've got condos and single family homes and some smaller capes scattered throughout the town. So uh, Beverly is a really great place to live. It's a great place to have a family. It's a great place to commute from. And if you have any questions about Beverly or any city, town, north of Boston or anywhere in Massachusetts, I'd be honored to hear your question and love to help you out please reach out to me with the information below. Feel free to call, text, or email, and uh, it would be my pleasure to help you with your real estate goals. Thank you, and have a great day.